Hello, my name is Kevin L. Jackson. I've deployed cloud environments for the U.S. intelligence community, and in 10 minutes, I'm going to share with you the secret to keeping your cloud deployment secure. There are five critical actions you need to address for keeping your data safe in the cloud. In summary, they are clearly documenting your overall cloud security requirements, specifying your organization's secure data management goals, establishing your encryption key management must-haves, conducting a rational cloud service provider evaluation, and properly classifying your data. To begin with, cloud security requires you to look at all aspects of the cloud, both single cloud and multiple cloud. You need to look at the roles and responsibilities of the cloud service provider, your organization, and any third party that should have access to your data. The key driver of this should be your business data management policies. When you choose to use a cloud service provider, you have chosen to manage your data in accordance with the service provider's policies and procedures, not your own. You need to understand and accept that fact. This acceptance requires you to confirm that their data management security policies are compatible with your own. Before placing your data into the cloud, your organization needs to evaluate the technical and operational security aspects of the chosen service model, be it infrastructure, platform, or software as a service, and the chosen deployment model, public, private, hybrid, or community cloud. Your team must evaluate available security controls and how they can be used to protect your data. This evaluation will help you determine which aspects of the service provider's data security operations are critical to your organization's performance and its ability to meet all performance goals. That would include revenue attainment, business goals, or mission requirements. It goes without saying that you need to also and understand the data security and data privacy requirements within your local, regional, or national environment. This also includes cross-border data flows. Service availability and management options must be evaluated by CSP region because all services may not be available in every region. One often overlooked aspect is what happens if the cloud service provider fails to deliver in accordance with the agreed service level agreement. What would your organization do if this should occur? How would you even detect an SLA lapse? How would a service failure affect your customers? What type of SLA breach would warrant a decision to move to a different cloud service provider? Your approach to all of these aspects will lay the foundations of your cloud data security. Once you have set your foundational security aspects, you must then determine if they are consistent with the organization's IT infrastructure deployment strategy and operational requirements. There are three general approaches to IT consumption. Traditional data center, where you as the enterprise have control of the governance, a managed service provider, where you enforce your own governance requirements on a managed service provider via contract, and a cloud service provider who, by definition, creates their own governance. The security team must make sure 
that the company's activities would never place organizational data into any environment that has inadequate data security controls. This process will help you decide what data can actually be transferred to the cloud. This leads to the need to understand step three. Any data that is transferred to the cloud should be encrypted. The data needs to be encrypted at rest, in motion, and if possible, in use. This will require you to understand the available cloud service provider key management services and how they can be used to meet your data protection requirements. Many times, the cloud service provider will actually hold the data encryption keys. If that is the case, how can the organization be confident that the data security cannot be breached? What happens if you decide to leave a cloud service provider? The level of confidence in the provider's ability to protect data encryption keys may require the use of an independent third-party key escrow service. Once you have completed this step, you must then evaluate different cloud service providers. Unfortunately, many organizations select the cloud service provider without that proper end-to-end -end evaluation. Often, they only consider a single cloud option. There are thousands of cloud service providers in the marketplace, and the first one that comes to mind may not be the appropriate service provider for you when it comes to security. It's important for the organization to take a critical look at all available data security controls and compare their availability by cloud service provider region. All CSP regions may not be equal. Different regions have different capabilities and different shortcomings. A critical security aspect is ensuring the organization's ability to monitor the effectiveness and adequacy of all CSP data security controls. Your security policies should also address CSP responsibilities if a disaster or a data breach were to occur. How does your own organization's plan mesh with those of the cloud service provider? What about the governance processes? Does the cloud service provider governance process align with your fiduciary legal or regulatory responsibilities? And finally, should the cloud service provider fail to meet its obligations when it comes to the service level agreement, how would you extract yourself from that environment? How would you extract your data? How would you ensure that no other organization has access to your data? The final step in ensuring secure cloud operations is appropriately classifying your data. Essentially, all organizations will classify their data with respect to its sensitivity. This, however, is only one area of concern. You need to also classify by data ownership, as well as if the data is subject to privacy or healthcare data protection requirements. What about data associated with contractual or proprietary information? Have the contract signatories given permission to even allow that data to be put in the cloud? What are the relevant local, state, or national data privacy restrictions? These laws change all the time, and it's important for you to monitor this to ensure that your cloud service provider can provide the required security controls and restrictions. You should also classify your data with respect to all data retention requirements, be they legal or regulatory. 
the data classification decisions in the end will answer the question, should this data actually be in the cloud? So that's it. In 10 minutes, we have covered cloud security, data management, encryption key management, cloud service provider evaluation, and data classification. I hope this webinar has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn or Twitter, where my handle is at Kevin underscore Jackson. Thank you for listening to my five steps to secure your cloud operations.